Okay, welcome to VB Tech. I'm Prince, and today I'm gonna show you how to install DSTV using an 8 gig decoder. Okay, so this tutorial will cover up everything you need to know about DSTV installation, starting from how to assemble a DSTV satellite dish, how to mount it on any surface, be it a concrete or a wood, and then how to try for the signal. An appropriate place to get a stable signal, how to do it, and then how to run the installation on the HD decoder, and finally how to activate it to enjoy your channel. So make sure that I watch this video to the end. Keep watching. Okay, so to assemble your DSTV dish, you don't need the name of the part to do anything. If you are to install any DSTV, for your customer, no one will be asking you the name of the part. So learn how to assemble it and then you are good to go. So any LMB bar, this is an LMB bar. There is one side with only one hole and there is another side with either three or more holes. So where there is only one hole, that's where you need to fix your LMB. So any satellite dish, where there is one hole, on the bar like this that's where you need to fix your LMB and the other side with plenty holes that's where we'll go at the back of your reflector your dish okay so here we pick up this metal you don't need the names we pick up this one there is some arrow over here. Make sure that the arrow faces top. Whenever you are fixing this here, make sure that the arrow faces top. So it will be like this. The arrow has to face top. Okay. So there are two holes over here. You need to fix it. Okay. And then you do this one. Okay. And with this one, there is some bend metal over here. Make sure that that metal also faces top. Because that metal will block. We we'll hold the pole to stand firm. So it will be like this. So this small bend metal over here will block the this from falling from there. Pool. Okay. So make sure that all the time here faces top. You don't have to do like this. You don't have to do like this. You have to turn it. Okay. Okay. So we pick up this boat. We have two long boats in accessories. So we place one here. Hard. 
So with our Samron DSTV dish, we need 14 and 10 spanner to assemble it. Okay. And then we pick up this one. And then we place it here. Look for this wrong boat, like one inch boat from the accessories. And we fix it over here. Okay, you need to tighten it with your tennis spanner. After that, put it over here. This room. Okay. Place it here. I will touch it with your 10 boots and not. So it will be from, from the front to back, not from back to the front. It won't be like this. It will be from front to back. Next one now. Tight them. And then left with the LMB holder. So you fix this one here. Which will hold the LMB. <laughs> to be from the front to back, not from back to front. Okay. in your LMB. Okay. So after assembling this, you need to 
Strip your core skin well on. Strip your core skin. Now you fix your left connectors. So the pin don't have to be too too long. So cut it short a bit. And then you tape it. So this is how you need to lay your cable. And I have a rubber tape or I have this tape. You can use it to lay your cable. And then you come down, tighten another one here. Okay. All right. So you keep watching. So, you fix your pole on concrete. You need a concrete drilling machine. Okay. So you insert in your drill. This is a rotary hammer drill. You can use an ordinary metal drill to drill concrete, but if it's a hard concrete, it will never go through. Okay. So here you can shift it to metal and then rotate it to normal as well. Okay. So we we'll have to measure. If you have marker, you can choose to use this gauge over here. I prefer marking it. Okay. So. the boat on it and then you mark it okay.
And then the next thing you need to do is mark the space you need to drill. You pick up your pole and then you place it on the wall where you need to drill and you mark inside. To indicate where you need to drill. Okay. Okay, so after drilling, you need to insert your rubber. Okay, I've already inserted some rubber. Well, so. Fix the rubber inside. Make sure that you go inside the wall. Okay. So after that, then you place your pull on it to tighten it up. Just like this. Okay. All right. Okay. So to fix your this bar, your DSTV bar on any wood. You don't have to turn it like this. For this side to face down, you have to hang on like this. To be something like this. Okay. Now that I need to bend the nails in case you are to remove it, it will be easier for you. And when you are placing the bar, make sure that the bar is straight. And whenever you bend the nails, if you are to remove it, it's very simple. Just like this, then you are done. Okay. Okay. So to track for DSTV signal or any satellite signal, you first have to find where you can get the satellite that you are tracking for. So with DSTV, you can get it on the east, on the northeast. So if you're having a compass, it's very simple for you to locate the northeast of your standing point. From where I'm standing, this side is my northeast. Forget about the degrees. Just know the direction you need to turn your dish. Either on the east, on the west, on the south, on the north. 
so here dstv you get it on the northeast 36 degrees so knowing where your northeast is you get your signal very fast okay so looking at your frequency and signal rate i always use one two two four five two seven five zero zero horizontal Set your core escape and then you key in the frequency and similar it. Okay. So I already have a stable DST signal, but I want to show you how to track for it. Okay. So when tracking for any satellite signal. You don't need to turn the dish with speed. You have to slow it down. So after knowing where you need to turn your dish to get your signal, you turn your dish to face that direction and then you start panning. So it will be like this. You don't have to pan it with speed. Like this. You go this side, you don't get it. And you push it to another side very small. Okay. Go up, you go to another side. If you don't get it, you go up, you go down, and then you can use this. This try to you to get it as well. You come top like this, you go sideways, and you come here, and you bring it down. You don't have to move it fast, you go here. Come to the other side. So after knowing the direction you need to turn to get your signal, it will be very simple for you to get a signal. So any setter that you are tracking for, forget about the degrees. Get to know the direction you need to turn to get your signal. Okay. Okay. So you pan it slowly, 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 so you get your signal. Okay, so after having a stable DSTV signal, you need to tighten your dish up. Okay. Make sure that you have a stable DSTV signal. At least 60%. Okay. I have a stable DSTV signal, 61%. Okay. So now we can move on with the installation. So after getting a stable DSTV signal, you need to fix your cables to your DSTV decoder. Okay. So here, you connect your coax cable from the satellite dish to the LMB import over here. Okay. And then AV ports, you need to use this cable. Jack to AV out. Okay. Jack to AV out. So when you set here over the AV import over here. Okay. And here goes to your TV set. Okay. And if you want to use a flat screen television, you can opt to use a HDMI cable. With the HDMI cable, you get quality pictures as compared to the AV cable. So, you fix your HDMI cable over here and the HDMI port. Okay. And then, connect your adapter over here. Power your decoder. Okay, it will be like this. So if you are to connect it to flat screen television using the HDMI, this how we need to connect it. Okay. Okay. So whenever you boot your DSTV decoder, 
HD decoder for the first time. This one will appear on the first page. Language options, so you need to choose your preferred language. You can go on with Portuguese, but if you understand Portuguese, then move on with Portuguese. So let's move on with English. Come to the second page, which is the satellite. There is some country list over here. If you are living in Botswana, Malawi, Mozambique, South Africa, Swaziland, Zambia, and Zimbabwe, you need to select this satellite IS20 and then you move on with the steps that will be using. And if you cannot find your country name in this list, you need to select, you need to change the satellite over here to the E36B. So if you are living in Kenya, Nigeria, Ghana, and the rest of Africa, you need to select this satellite and then you move on with the same step that will be using. So you press OK. I'm in Ghana, that's why I'm selecting this satellite. So you come down to manual setup. And then you press OK. So here, the LMB type. If you are you install your DSTV with a single universal LMB, you need to select universal over here. If you use a unique cable LMB, which is the smart LMB, you need to change it to Unicable LMB and the user frequency because it's default, you need to you don't have to change anything over here. If you use a smart LMB, you have to select Unicable over here. But most of the time, new AD decoder comes with a, a universal LMB. So, all the time, you have to select universal LMB and then you highlight the scan option over here. So Whenever you highlight the scan option over here, when the signal status on the right side of the page does not fill up, indicating that you are having enough signal, it means you are having problem either with your QS cable at the back of your DSTV decoder or with your satellite dish. So you need to check it out. Okay. So you come here and then you press OK to scan. If it has been filled up, your status has filled up and then the scan does not still go through, meaning you are not having a stable signal. So you need to check. Alright, so press OK on the scan option to scan your decoder. Alright. Okay. So after scanning your DSTV decoder, you need to upgrade before you can activate. If you skip the upgrading process, it will not activate. You cannot activate it. So after scanning any new DSTV decoder, a pop-up message will appear here suggesting for an upgrade. So you don't have to skip. You have to press OK on the upgrade now to upgrade your decoder. And the upgrading will take 17 minutes. So you don't have to off your decoder when the decoder is upgrading. And after upgrading, DSTV will request for your IUC number and the serial number of your decoder for them to complete the activation okay so you find this IUC number at the back of your at the back of any DSTV decoder they used to place some stickers either on top or at the back of it okay so you submit this figures to them and then they will ask for your location and your mobile number to complete the activation and whenever you are calling them make sure that you have enough airtime it's not free calling DSTV office for the activation so to get your contact number you pick up your remote you go to DST menu and then you look for help okay help come to contact us over here and you will find every details about DSTV so you can be report center then we have South African number. Every country can have your own number over there. Okay. So we have Angola, Botswana. So you can find your country number over there. Okay. So if you are new here, you do want to subscribe and then hit the bell icon. Alright. Bless up.